Welcome back to JSA TV, where we're covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations from leaders in digital infrastructure. I'm Buffy Harakitis of JSA, and we are live at Data Cloud Global Congress in beautiful Cannes, France, on the French Riviera for the 20th <laughs> anniversary of this absolutely amazing conference, wouldn't you say, fellas? Oh, brilliant. So, so good to be here. Yeah, and I have two very special guests from the Nordic data center market. Uh, gentlemen, why don't you introduce yourself and tell us where you're from and uh, your position. My name is uh, Christian Ekberg. I'm coming from BW uh, Velora. Uh, I'm uh, located out of Oslo. We are operating in the Nordics and Canada. All right, so I'm uh, Håkon Irgens, um, representing Five Nines. Um, so we're located in Oslo and um, we're an EPC uh, constructor general construction in uh, in Norway and, and Nordics. So why don't we head back to you here? Why don't you tell us a little bit more about what your company does, what your specialties are? We are a DC developer company. And uh, that means that we, um, as uh, with local knowledge about uh, land uh, rules, regulations and permitting, we um, have now uh, uh, agreements uh, to uh, take four uh, lands so far in uh, Scandinavia. All lands have power uh, access up to 300 megawatt, and uh, the target is to, to build uh, data centers on them. Uh, there is uh, several reasons why we think uh, Nordics is uh, popular. First of all, uh, we see that uh, uh, several large data centers are currently in, under construction here. There is a reason, and that's the climate. It's a cold yeah, climate during climate. most of the winter, and it's um, a colder climate also during the summer, so the cooling uh, demand is uh, significant less. In addition, we have a lot of space, and we have uh, power. We have a lot of uh, hydrogen power. Uh, very recently, uh, uh, a lot of hydrogen and ammonia plants that has been planned for years in Norway has been cancelled. So uh, the state-owned uh, um, power company has now uh, taken away 20 terawatt in the uh, power queue, uh, leaving that available for the data industry. So uh, there is uh, challenges to get uh, uh, power. So it's not that simple, but it's <laughs> much easier now, and it's available power, and it's green uh, available green power is, is key it is. to everything that the yeah. uh, data center sure. industry needs to move forward. Mm -hmm. And I understand that the two companies are partnered. Why so don't you partner, tell us a little yeah. bit more? So, so what 5.9 does is um, we take it from uh, Reba stage 3 uh, until turnkey delivery for the, the operators. And um, uh, there's a few uh, well-known uh, operator companies in, in Norway. So we... Um, collaborate with them, of course, and then um, uh, we also see that there's a um, uh, there's, uh, time to market now, uh, and there's not that many suppliers in Nordic, so um, we think that's uh, a good opportunity to, to be there. Yeah. Well, when we talk about the Nordic data center market, we're hearing more and more about it over the last few years. What are some of the biggest trends that you're seeing in that market? And what we see is that uh, the uh, size of everything goes rapidly up. Uh, we had uh, some years back um, a data center with two, three megawatt was uh, uh, a, a significant yeah. <laughs> investment. Now it's small. Uh, uh, today, still, we have quite small. Uh, the uh, second largest, which is under construction now, is on 90 megawatt. But we have a mega uh, uh, data center from a hyperscaler, uh, which uh, uh, will be at the final uh, stage up to 800 megawatt. So what we see now is that everything uh, increases rapidly and it uh, becomes larger and larger. And we think that uh, the fiber cable, that is easy to, uh, to um, a, a fiber from the Nordics and down to Central Europe could be uh, quite a simple thing compared to moving all the electricity down to Europe. Uh, so, so that's uh, maybe the largest uh, trend that uh, we see that uh, Scandinavia is uh, with well connectivity and uh, action. And as uh, Otto from uh, Google on the opening speech uh, yesterday said that uh, 
he he sees the um, data centers moving from the from the center in the flat piece out where it's uh, powered land. So power is the most critical, and everything else can and be worked climate, out. And the climate, right? And the climate. I mean, yeah, the yeah, climate is is key. Yeah, and we have uh, green power and we have uh, surplus. So uh, at least for a uh, for a while, Norway is. Uh, it's a strategic land to, uh, to build in. Yeah. Sounds that uh, Nordics is where it's at when yeah, it comes it to the data center design <laughs> and development, for sure. Uh, so you mentioned one of the panels and some of the takeaways there. Uh, any other takeaways that you wanted to highlight from the conference today? I think that uh, we have um, seen a lot and learned a lot on this uh, conference. But the largest takeaway for me is probably just a confirmation about what we have already knew. But now we got the... the Words direct from uh, uh, executives in, in both leaders, uh, yeah. Microsoft, uh, uh, Google, uh, and Oracle. And everyone is saying that we will invest so much and we can't really manage to invest as fast as uh, we're trying to do in Europe. Uh, and, in addition, <laughs> and in addition, they also talk about this. Uh, they see that the new, very large scale centers, they can be more remotely located. And we think that is also very beneficial for us. It is, you know, particularly they can be more remote located. They don't have to be so close to the end user no. and they can take advantage of unused stranded power. So you will always have those who need the short latency, but... Uh, of course, right? But for the AI... For the AI, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. No. So we could see it in the Nordics, we could see it to North Dakota in the US. All right. <laughs> and we're hearing about these stories over and over again. We've heard several here at the conference. Uh, anything else you wanted to add, gentlemen? Just that this is such an exciting time and, and uh, we need to work together, everyone to, to uh, be able to um, deliver on time. Time yeah. is critical. Time is critical and collaboration is key, right? Yeah, right. Well, thank you so um, much. I'm sorry, Thank you ahead. for letting us yeah, of uh, course. come to this interview. Of course. It was our pleasure to have you all the way from the Nordics here on JSA TV live from Data Cloud Global Congress, the 20th edition, one of the biggest and best shows in the world. Thank you, viewers, for tuning in to another episode of JSA TV and happy networking.